this week on Search for Tomorrow, Liza and Travis, only yesterday they were the happiest couple alive. What would you say to a wild affair? Married, planning to live happily ever after, till something went wrong. It only took one to give my baby away. To destroy them. Shut up! You're a liar! An anger and passion that would carry them halfway around the world and collide on a fabulous ocean liner. Liza and Travis, their story this week on Search for Tomorrow. hurting someone than that. Your condition. Look, I'm really not interested in what you would or would not do. Oh, well, I'm very interested in what you've been up to lately, Nola. Why don't you just save it? I'm in a real hurry. Tough. Look, Morgan already told me that you admitted to I her. never admitted anything to anybody. Nola, stop lying. You know, I know, I know you and Morgan get off on these uh, teenage fantasies. Well, honey, that's fine, that's terrific, but just keep me out of it because I really don't have time for such things. And you can just hold Morgan's hand and tell her how sorry you feel for her. I just want to say one more thing, Nola. I just want you to know that I'm trying in every way I possibly can to convince Morgan to go tell Kelly everything she knows about you before he makes the biggest mistake of his life. <laughs> Oh, you know, Trudy, I just thought of something. You know, Morgan will finally have something to talk to people about. Now she can tell everybody how her ex dumped her for me. I hate to see you so despondent. Isn't there anything I could do or say to help? Tell her you've already helped just by being my friend. I'll always be here for you, Kelly. Always. Maybe if things hadn't been so good for the last couple of weeks, this, this would be easier to take, you know? Nothing would make this easy. Yeah, well, easy or not, this is the way it is, so I might as well just face it and stop feeling sorry for myself. But, but there is one thing that you could do for me. Anything. When Morgan has time to calm down, you know, would you talk to her? Would you try to explain what happened to her? I mean, I think maybe you could make her realize how much I love her. You know what I think? I think Ed is right. Nola will have the baby, and you'll come back to Springfield, and you'll start your, your life all over. And you and Morgan could forget about the past, and you could start all over again. She hates me so much. I can't believe I threw away my entire life, ruined everything for one stupid night. You didn't ruin it. You just postponed it a little. We'll see. Anyway, I can't put this off much longer. I've got to get back to Ed's and pack. I'll walk you to your car. Unless you'd rather be alone. You know better than that. Kelly, don't make this any harder on yourself than it already is. No, no, I wasn't. I was just, uh... I was just thinking about all the great times I've had here with you. M Morgan. My other friends. Oh, Kelly, you'll be back here before you know it. Yeah, and tomorrow I'll be on my way to Vegas. I cannot make myself believe that. Because I guess I'll have to. I'll miss you a lot. I'll miss you too. Would you call me when you get to Ed's? You know, just you know, say goodbye to me. I don't think so. One goodbye is hard enough. <laughs> right. Will you keep in touch? Yeah, yeah, I will. I will. Um, <clears throat> hey, listen. You know, I, I, I was telling, I was telling Nola this morning that I, I, ha I have this friend, 
in Phoenix, you know, and, and he's there and his wife's there and they like it a lot. You know, I knew him in school, so I mean, we'll know somebody there, you know. It's not like going there and being alone or anything. Yeah, well, that always helps. Yeah. Yeah, and, and, and when we get settled, I'll write you in and, and, and I'll give you our address and and, and, and then maybe you'll, you'll write back and, and you'll let me how mo know how Morgan is. Maybe you'd better send those letters to me at work, eh? Right? Better not take the chance of Nola reading them. Right. Kelly, would you just remember one thing? Yeah, yeah. What's that? I love you very, very much. I love you, too. But, Sarah, what other possible explanation is there? Now, you are the only person I have told both about, about my suicide attempt and my stay in the mental hospital. So whoever the blackmailer is had to have gotten that information from these files. That's all there is to it. Vanessa, are you certain that the only other person who knows about both of those incidents is your father? Absolutely. And I can assure you my father is not about to go and... What are you doing? Go ahead. I, I, I'm uh, listening to what you're saying. Well, who are you calling? You're not about to get the police involved in this, are you? No, 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 of course not. Well, then who... Uh, hello, Mike. Mike, this is Sarah. Can you come over here immediately? I'm, I'm at the hospital in my office. It seems that our blackmailer has broken into my files again, and already he's using information to blackmail innocent people. award-winning Guiding Light. Fashions provided by Lily Rubin Salon South Southwest, Bobby Brooks, and Barney. <laughs>